Hey guys, up it's Jake here on Quack Edits, and today I'm gonna do a simple Photoshop tutorial for you guys on how to <clears throat> create a mask uh, in a picture so that you can say drag this planet uh, without the starry background onto just say uh, some background that you created or some other picture you created. In this case, uh, I'm just using a, a little gradient here. <coughs> um, so we're going to go over here, and the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click the Quick Mask tool, and this is actually the first way that you can do this. Uh, there is two ways. Um, so when you go down here, you want to first unlock your background. I forgot to do that, my bad. Um, the black on top will add the mask, like this. Uh, sorry, like this. So I'm just going to get back to this. Alright, so if you add your... Oh, man. Alright, so you click this, and the black will add it. And if you reverse it, the white will take it away. Just like that. So you want to obviously switch them so the black is up front. And you want to just go around your object and fill in and well color over everything you want masked. Uh, so you want to just do it like this and kind of color in the earth. And I actually already did all this, uh, so we're just going to exit this, and we will move to this one. <clears throat> Alright, so as you can see, uh, you just kind of fill in what you want. This is kind of a rough one. Uh, I don't really like this method as much as the next one I'm going to show you, but uh, this is you know, this is how it works. So after you have filled in everything you want, you're just going to come back and click this again. And now all you have to do is press delete on your keyboard. And there you go. Uh, your thing is all masked out. And you can drag it and drop it on whatever you would please. Uh, so as you, like I said before, it's a very rough mask. But uh, that's just an example of one of the ways you can do that. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to just exit out of this. And I'm going to just delete this layer and reopen that image to show you guys the second part of this. Uh, all right, now the second way to do it is you take the pen tool <clears throat> and you just wanna mask. Uh, actually, instead of like masking in the area you want, you're just gonna wanna mask around. So you just take your pen tool and do all your curves and stuff. Uh, this is just, I mean, it takes practice to do this, I guess. Uh, I'm just doing it pretty rough right now. So we'll just mask this just out a little bit. Nope. That's not enough. Sometimes you have to, like, bring the pen tool a little bit farther down. Just depending on where it is. Looks like I messed that up a little bit here. Let's go down. Let's see if this works down here. Ah. I guess this mask isn't very good. Or this, these curves are a little off. That's why. It's all about just trying to find exactly where you're going to be able to use the curves. Probably just like that. Uh, and then you want to actually just continue around the outside of the picture and then just go back to your top and right click on your path and press make selection and your feather radius uh, depending on how rough it is I usually do like a one pixel feather radius or a no pixel feather radius uh, it all just depends and then you simply oh, I didn't unlock this again I'm really bad at that you simply just press delete again on your keyboard and as you can tell, my curves were obviously a little bit off. Looks a little egg-shaped. But uh, there you go. I mean, that's pretty much all you got to do. Uh, so just to recap, uh, the first way we can do this is by coming down and selecting the mask tool. Black on top adds, just like this. White on top will subtract or delete the mask 
and then you just press this and everything will be red and then you simply press delete and you're good and the second method was to use the pen tool uh, I'm just going to do another quick little rough mask just to go back over it and then after this basically all you have to do again is right click make selection okay and then just delete ah, I pressed the wrong button I think there we go okay <clears throat> uh, it's actually filling it right now I just there's <clears throat> a couple of things that went wrong sorry about my throat guys I apologize uh, I don't know why that's taking so long so we're just gonna exit out of that but uh, yeah you just go delete and uh, there you have it and you could end up with something similar to this, depending on what you're masking and depending on what you have. Uh, that's going to be it for today, guys. If you have any suggestions, please comment on what you would like me to do. And if you have anything else you want to say, uh, just leave it in the comments or even PM me if you like. Uh, and as always, please rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. I appreciate it, guys. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.